I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I just wanted to tell you guys that I have entered a competition and these are my entries. So to vote for me, you need to vote for PC4, which means Photographic Classic number four and then pna number five so literally you scroll down to the bottom i'll have the link in the description and you can go ahead and vote for me there just look for those pictures and vote for moi my name is not on it because it's got to be sort of like remain anonymous as such for any judges or anything that may see the images but i'm showing you guys so you can see which ones i have um so if you can go and vote for me that would be amazing it is for the nail championships in london so that is super exciting anyway let's move on to the video so the items I'm using in today's video are glitters from Glitter Planet and this one is Disco Pink it's absolutely freaking bomb 24k which is a fine gold mix it's literally stunning and gold shards these three layered up honestly lit as F seriously so I'm going to be using Rose Blush Acrylic from NSI, Radiant White and also the Clear Acrylic from NSI as well and I will be using their Attraction Monomer. I'm using the Pointed Almond Nail Tips from Glitter Planet and these are new so be sure to check them out. And I'm also using the Nail Files which are 100 and 180 grit. You get them in a pack of five. And I'm also using the acrylic brush, also available from GlitterPlanetUK.com, coming very, very soon. We are having the last few made and shipped over, and I'm so freaking excited for you guys to literally try these brushes out, because we work so hard on them, like so hard, okay? So I've applied the tips to my nail trainer, and I, I have... Um, slightly filed the side walls and just snipped off the end and it just gives us this nice coffin shape but it's really really like tapered in and I'm coming in with the white acrylic and I'm just doing the white on three of the nails because I'm going to be doing a baby boomer look and then I'll be back to apply the rose blush cover so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and let you guys watch And this little bit here in a minute, I do struggle slightly chopping it off. It literally just wasn't moving. It was so freaking stuck. But I left it in to show you guys that not everybody applies things perfectly. Not everything goes right the first time round. And a lot of the time, some videos are just edited to make it look flawless. Um, but yeah, this happens a lot. Well, not a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Not anybody's perfect, okay? You've just got to keep going regardless. So now I've finished applying the white, I'm coming in with that rose blush cover and it's literally perfect. I, I have literally been loving this colour 
so much from NSI, it's stunning and it is really a super cute perfect nude so I'm going and applying that to the cuticle area allowing the bead to flow down and then stroking it gently with my brush to blend it into that white and again I applied slightly too much acrylic um, it went a bit crazy on the side but it's easy to tidy up and once I've capped in clear and filed you literally won't be able to tell and it will still look bomb so do not worry about that I will fix it up later on in the video So I'm doing exactly the same process again, the white acrylic is dry, I'm applying that nude at the cuticle area, allowing the bead to flow but keeping it sort of like within the area of the nails by using my brush to push it to the centre almost and then just using really light strokes to blend that down into the white. If you guys want a dedicated video on baby boomer ombre blendingness, you know, then let me know down below and I can do that for you. Just like I did with the pre-pinch tips applying those. Um, I'll do it sort of like similar to that so it's literally in detail and I'll show you each step by step and explain through every little bit. I'll show you how I pick up the acrylic and everything like that and then you guys can really get a great feel on how to work with the product and you can see exactly um, each step because obviously you're seeing me apply the acrylic to the nail but you don't know how much liquid is on my brush you don't know how much powder I'm picking up how long I'm dipping into my acrylic and um, the ratio that I'm using you can kind of see that but it's not definite do you know what I'm saying it's just like a guess so if you want me to do a video like in depth on the baby boomer if you're struggling with that then please let me know because I love doing those videos like helping you guys out I mean it's nice doing just regular um, watch me work or doing clients nails or tutorials but I really want this channel to become a helpful place um, to sort of like move you on in your nail career and your learning process of acrylics I will get into some gel nails not exactly right now because it's not my thing okay I am an acrylic girl forever So next I'm moving on to the two nails that we had free and these are just going to literally be, um, I have no freaking idea right now. My mind literally just went so blank. But now I have remembered. So yeah, they're going to be a mixture of the three glitters I showed at the beginning. Just faded up nicely. And honestly, this combo is lit as fuck. Like seriously, it looks bomb. So I'm using the 24K. And then on top of that, I am pushing in the gold shards. And then again, on top of that, I'm using the disco pink. And the combo literally is live. Like you cannot get any more bling and sass than this combination. Seriously. Seriously guys, it is bomb.com. You can see. Like seriously, you can do do I really need to tell you how amazing it looks? Do I really? I didn't think so, okay? So yeah, I'm just using my brush to pick up the glitter out of the pot. I'm not using any acrylic with it because the nail is already wet. So by using my brush with the leftover monomer that's on there, it will just pick up the specks of glitter and the particles and I'm easily able to just place them into the already wet acrylic. So I'm doing exactly the same thing on the other nail and then I will be right back. Thank you. 
So now I've finished laying my acrylic, I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the design and you always want to encapsulate your baby boomer so you're not going to file away that blend that you have just created. If you didn't cap and you started filing, shaping and buffing that nail, literally you will reveal a harsh line or um, you'll file away the nude acrylic and you'll have really white patches showing through so it's important that you do cap baby boomer nails unless your application is on fire and you don't need to do any filing. But really, who can do that? I mean, in my dreams I can. So now I have filed and buffed the nails, I'm coming in with top coat and I'm using Tone's Max Top Coat in today's video. So I'm applying a nice even thickish kind of coat over every single nail, making sure to cap the free edge and then I'll cure in the light for 60 seconds. Now this top coat, I am not a huge fan, it is a very thin top coat and runs quite a lot. I mean, it's not bad, it's not like the worst top coat that I've used, but it is extremely runny. So if you do like thinner top coats and you don't mind that, then that's great. Personally, I prefer to have a little bit of a thicker top coat. I feel like you just get a much glossier shine, although this shine is bomb and it looks awesome. So if you want to check them out, I'll have the link down below as well as a 15% off coupon code that you guys can use. So now I've finished um, curing the top coat, I'm going to come in with my Alpha number 2 3D brush and I'm going to go ahead and sculpt the 3D rose. So I've sped this up super fast because you guys don't want to sit here for like, well it actually was only 5 minutes, it took me maybe 6, which I don't think is too bad for this beautiful piece of art. Um, but yeah, I've sped it up just so that you guys don't get bored, you can kind of see the process there. I'm just using the white acrylic from NSI to sculpt a little 3D flower and a leaf because I thought it was super delicate and it just tied in really nice for this set. And once I've done that, I will show you guys the final look. It looked absolutely bomb and I would slay this all day, every freaking day, if I could. Also, this is a new little tool. Did you see that? It was the cuticle pusher from Glitter Planet with like a scraper on the other side it will be coming very very soon so look out for that this is the final result guys i really hope that you enjoyed it i loved creating this set for you and yeah don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share this video and until next time always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. goodbye yeah 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 yeah
I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back